welcome, Neil Ice here from Tykes TV. Uh, well, we're into the third round at FA Cup, so we're into the draw, which we were all open and expecting, so we'll get on about that a bit later. <clears throat> Thanks for joining in. Uh, crew fans for making the journey up, I think about 400 of them. Uh, made some noise as well, but just about Barnsley is that person I think for the first 20 minutes, half an, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I thought it were a bit cagey, a bit uh, slow. <clears throat> Whether that were just, uh, can I say, not to do all daft or silly, um, but again, it won't. Difficult, it will like a, a pretty comfortable, easy passage, no respect to crew. Few shots for head, uh, dealt with pretty comfortably. We had our sat as well. It would also screw for boys for Shamilton. <clears throat> um with our sat as well. You could also tell the high press and the amount of times we were playing offside trap as well. When first when uh, announcement came over for uh, team lineup starting eleven, if I'm being honest, I thought it was gonna be a four four two. I didn't you know, then Vovron was going about that Benson might be playing it right wing back or Adams might move over and and to be fair, I thought Benson had a decent game at right wing back. Um again when he got for it, he bombed for it, cover one position via either Luke Connell dropping back helping out, or Edwards moving over one. Luke Connell dropping back in a bit deeper. So again, you know, hats off to Benson for how we played, also a score penalty as well. Just going through line up and that, uh, we're pretty, we're a pretty strong side. To be fair, you look at back three: Edwards, Kitchen, and Anderson, more or less as it was. Nicky Cadden, left wing back. Not many surprises. Norwood back in, Cole. Possibly only change. Well, I could see coming once, which is like Walton coming in at, at, at goal, resting it. Were more or less a starting eleven, which. I'm pleased. It shows we're taking it serious and that, which we also want to see. A uh, few youngsters on bench. I'll get on about them. Uh, Jello, Chapman. I'll get on about them in a minute. So, pleased to see as well three different goal scorers again and a clean sheet. Devante Cole, great work on and off ball. Um, confidence is there. I mean, we were at one point where he got ball, it were a bit of a a backside shuffle and of a bit of a trick in midfield and he got got going again. So again, confidence and belief in lad. Phillips, again, another goal. Seems to be a bit of a, an unsung hero, if I'm not being disrespectful, but an unsung hero is that he's managed to get in area at right time. Uh, he's finding positions, a bit like a, a ghost kind of thing. It, a bit like... A, you won't expect him to be there, and all of a sudden he just pops up in box and, you know, what is it now, four and five he's got? So again, he's filling that void, that position that we've been, you know, wanting. And also, Luke Connell in the second half got brought down for a penalty. And I think, if I'm being a slight little thing, we probably could have won by a few more. Uh, we were early on when I, uh, ads, uh, Mads um, I don't know, but apart from that, it was it was a good run out, it was a good performance. I think more second half, I think more more of an intent there in the second half on behalf of Barnsley, uh, and in attacking threat coming down left link up play again. <clears throat> Luke Connell dropping back, dropping deep, trying to get things going. A lot of positives on pitch, a lot of a lot of good performance on pitch. Kitchen trying to bring the ball out from front back, try and get things going. You know, there were a lot of things that what were right there. Uh, shout out as well to Phil Chapman, made his Barnsley home debut, another another young kid coming off it. Uh, bench making his debut for Reds and another another academy player, another academy product going through, which is great to see, playing to see. All beta came off at last, what, five minutes, six minutes? But, again, a good taste for, you know, what he, what he had to do. 
I'm just looking at things like now. Jallo, Martin came on, so made changes. Um, again, I think while well, whatever it were one nil, you always felt that we need that second. When we got that second, you thought, yeah, there's, there could be possibly another goal in it here. Um, and again, a great run by Luca Connell. We were gaps opening up. Crew, what I could tell, were, were happy to sit back in in numbers and defend, which kind of for frustrating more at first half for me, even it was second. I think it got addressed in uh, half time team talk about because, like I said, in second half, I thought we come out with more of an intent, with more of a um, way out to break them down, whether it be through wings or take a run, run at them. And like I said, Luke Connell uh, tried it, link it, him off coming out of defence. So it's third round at FA Cup. Um, before we get on to that, man at match for me, I know Luke Connell got it. And there were a few people coming out with some very good shouts. Um, Benson, one another player, what impressed playing in an unfamiliar position. I thought he had a, a good game, to be fair. I thought he really adapted well. Would it be a would it be a thing to think about going forward? Oh, possibly, possibly. Um, when you look at midfielders, what uh, via plus what I've got to come back is in Thomas, hmm, Thomas and Wolf as well. That's coming. So again, there's options there, didn't there? And on the map being out still cover. Yeah, I, I, I could see Benson doing a job there for us. All depends if you know this is where against crew, fair, you know, fair enough. But go into league games, would you would he adapt well there? I can't see why not. He, he seems to be playing pretty decent and game forward and driving, so there's something to keep an eye out. But I, yeah, so for me, Benson, another player that I'm gonna mention, <clears throat> uh, I know Nicky Cadden got uh, some mentions, and like I said, Luke Connell, Irby Kane. Got link up play for me. I'm going to gear it for Devante Cole mainly for his commitment. Is I can see improvement in lad. He's got six goals now. I can see improvement. I can see belief. Is confident in his own abilities. Is looking. He's looking at a different player than what he was at the beginning of the season. If I'm being honest, so that improvement is goal. Is a bit of skill in midfield. He's dropping bit. He's dropping football as well as wanting the ball. His old up play. So again, it's an iron to call. I know there'll be a, a bit of a split on this one. But for me, I'm going to get Devante Cole. But like I said, I've got to give shout outs to Benson, Kitchen, Cadden, Kane. I could go for all team. Can't look at Connell. You know, everybody did, did a job. Um, and we move on. So this will be an interesting one. Uh, coming on to the FA Cup draw, what would you like to happen in the draw? Would you would you prefer a a champ, you know, a championship or league, a Premier League side at Oakwell or us away? Would you like a, a lower league opposition at home to progress, or would you rather have a a big money spinner tie in third round and then concentrate on league, or would you want now? Let's have a, a long cup run as we can. I'm not saying that, you know, there's always going to be some banana skins out of here when you play Championship and League, you know, Premier League sides, because they'll probably put some weakened sides out, you know. So, possibilities always there. Would you want to know where? Would you want to know, I'm Ty? Let me know your thoughts or comments below. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts about Man at Match. Let me know your thoughts and uh, comments about, you know, is next opponent possible, next opponent FA Cup, who would you like it to be, or more away, reasons behind it. And so it would be a bit, bit of an interesting discussion back, going off in the uh, comments section below. As always, appreciate you taking time out and watching the uh, video. Please like, subscribe and share. I know you always do. One thing left to say, you Reds. Thank <laughs> you.